If you're a PC gamer or you're a home theater movie watching enthusiast, then you might just be interested in new TV technology. And today we are looking at a new tech from Samsung called Micro RGB. Now Samsung wanted to sponsor out today's video as well as a new video next month where we're gonna be looking in person at their new Micro RGB. However, in today's video, we're gonna be watching a new video, so sort of like videoception, talking about this new monitor technology and why I'm personally excited for it. And maybe if you love monitors as much as I do, why you may be excited about it too, where for years, gamers have been waiting for the best of all worlds and micro RGB may just do that. And for reference, currently my favorite monitor for PC gaming right now is the QD OLED 240Hz 4K panel from Samsung. So when they've got new monitor technology, I'm all eyes and I wanna see what it's all about. So let's watch this video together and then pause it and talk about some of the most important bits and why we should be getting excited about micro RGB. Small stars make a vast universe. The tiny micro-sized light we discovered became a new beginning. A tiny light making true color. Samsung Micro RGB. So that's the first part of the video there. I think the main point here is, is that it's RGB at the source. So Micro RGB. We'll talk about the micro bit very soon, but let's talk about the RGB here, where traditionally even all the latest OLED monitors that are coming out today, they're all actually blue LEDs, and then they've just got a phosphorus layer or some other kind of coating on it that turns it into a white LED. Though on the flip side, with RGB, we've got a true red color source, we've got a true green color source, and a true blue color source. And then from there, we can get all our colors. So this right here is extremely exciting. I personally love looking at pure red, green, blue backlighting source, but let's continue. LED became smaller as mini LED, delivering sharper picture quality with precise backlight control. Now, micro RGB, an even smaller and more delicate light source, enables an optimized backlight with accurate color expression. With this tiny light, it precisely controls brightness, darkness, and color details. In this way, we experience a more immersive viewing. At the core of controlling these tiny lights is Samsung's own high-performance micro RGB AI engine. Okay, so this micro part in the RGB is even just as important as the RGB part itself because as we go smaller in the LED size, especially active LEDs that aren't organic like OLED, it starts to get really important because we can get much higher brightness levels without suffering the drawbacks of OLED where they've got the risks of burn-in. And of course, because of that burn-in risk, they just essentially can't get anywhere near the brightness levels of even current mini LED monitors and TVs that are out there on the market. Yes, they can get very like short term bursts of light, but ultimately if you're playing a game, for instance, on PC, mini LED is going to get much more consistently higher brightness levels than OLED. And then we add in the fact that we're going down to micro levels with micro RGB, we're getting then even higher potentially peak brightness levels and making it so that HDR content is gonna be some of the most immersive content you've ever seen on either a gaming PC or a TV itself. Now also couple that in with the RGB factor there, you've got a combination there that is not only gonna be amazing for HDR, but also the vibrancy, the contrast levels, and just the fact that you can get now the deeper blacks. So let's continue on. 
At the core of controlling these tiny lights is Samsung's own high-performance micro-RGB AI engine. Equipped with the dedicated micro-RGB AI Gen 3 processor, this engine individually drives every micro-sized RGB light. Delivering exceptional processing power, this power drives AI to analyze scenes and adjust millions of pixels instantly. The result is not just sharper, but alive with richer colors, smoother motion, and seamless immersion. You can experience vivid, true to life colors. So this next part here is particularly focusing on the TV enthusiast who's watching movies. And this is where if you're on a PC, for instance, you're already gonna have your CPU and GPU, and that's gonna do the processing for games via its own engine. However, for a TV, when you're watching a movie, it's already been processed by the person who made that movie. However, with micro RGB, they may not have enhanced it for this BT 2020 color space. And so this engine can essentially, with the help of the micro RGB, really optimize and make whites brighter in a scene, make blacks darker, and then that can give you a more immersive HDR experience, for instance. Or of course, it could boost levels in say sports matches like they're showing, and you can see more detail when you need to. And I'm sure there's gonna be different options on the TV to account for different people who are watching different things and give the absolute best experience. The one cool thing, if you're a PC enthusiast and you've built your own PC, is that micro RGB is essentially in the TV addressable RGB on a PC, right? You've got that five volt RGB header and it can control all the individual LEDs. Think of this like a PC, but on a much, much smaller scale where each of those RGB pixels can be individually controlled. And so that's ultimately gonna make your picture in the back of the monitor, make it seem much more lifelike. Then we've got BT2020 color space validation there, which if we compare this in the past to other color spaces like DCI P3, that's roughly around 45%. The BT2020 standard goes over to 75% of what the human eye can visibly see. So we're getting much closer to the maximum level of what a human eye can see all coming out in this micro RGB technology, or at least what's been validated. My subjective eyes it can't validate this stuff. It can just enjoy it. And that reliability is certified by VDE. To ensure total immersion in content, there must be less distraction. Blair Free Tech ensures clear, reflection-free viewing, especially vital as screens grow larger. HDR Plus optimizes contrast and detail for stunning picture quality. It ensures rich visuals across all types of content. And even the sleek, metal, super slim design. World's first micro RGB. Feel the power of color. Let's break down this last bit here, especially with the glare-free film. And one thing I will talk about, and I've talked about this in reviews of the, the 4K 240 Hertz OLED panels, is that they have an absolutely gorgeous coating on them. It is essentially the best of both worlds in that you can get a glossy finish on the monitor, but still eliminate a glare as much as possible. So hopefully Samsung improve on already what's on their, for instance, their PC gaming 240 Hertz panels, because I really am an enthusiast on what they're doing personally with their PC monitors at this point in time. And then for this last part, they've got HDR Plus, which essentially with the micro RGB, we've got the color, we've then got the brightness, which is gonna be some of the highest peaking in the world. And that is going to make it so that the HDR experience, as we talked about before, is going to be absolutely phenomenal, or so I hope. Anyway, with all that out of the way, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to check out micro RGB in person and see what it is all about with this new technology. I can't personally wait, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well, because there are a few drawbacks to OLEDs at this point in time, 
And hopefully micro RGB is the answer for all of this, but I'll be telling you guys my thoughts and opinions in the next video. And with that aside, do let us know in the comments section below what you think about micro RGB. Are you looking forward to it? You don't care. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll catch you in another one very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.